Good morning, it's Donna again bringing you another Get Here shopping video. Now, I'm celebrating my 18th anniversary of buying Get Here and having it delivered to my door in minutes. Well, you may be saying, what's the big deal? You know, all these videos that I keep putting up, but what I love about Get It is, well, I was loving their purple bags for a start. I mean, look at those, beautiful. Yellow and purple, really fantastic logo. Um, it also says reuse, recycle. So I was thinking, brilliant. I, I love these bags. I was using them. All the shopping was coming in these and they're strong bags. But then they had decided to get rid of them because they weren't eco-friendly enough. So... They've gone on for these paper bags. Um, yeah, these ones here. It says here, 100% recyclable. Can you see that? And what I love about them is they're, they're brown paper, which I love. And they've got these beautiful designs on. These nice little icons of uh, ice lollies and um, dog food, uh, shower gel. Really cute. And I'm going to be using these for some crafting projects, which you will see in some of my other videos. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you why I'm celebrating it. Today um, is really important for me to be getting my get here because on Wednesday I fell over and broke my wrist. Basically, um, I had to go and have an x-ray done and the doctor found a fine fracture Um at the time it was really killing me like pins and needles and it was horrible um but now with the brace on and me not using it at all it's not too bad but i'm not able to drive or um sort of lift things lift heavy objects so um i think yeah i can lift the paper bag but that's about it the empty paper bag fine but anything else no so i've had to go and get my get here shopping so let's go on with what i bought and i want you to see the kind of products they're doing now right i was able to get these fantastic um whitworth's branded orchard prunes okay because these uh provide fiber and sweetness so I'm really import, uh, really interested in that. And they're very good snacks on the go. If you're somebody who doesn't have access to a staff canteen or you're out and about and you're finding restaurants a bit too expensive, then just grab some prunes, grab some lovely blueberries like these ones that Get Here have provided me with lovely wholesome blueberries in these little plastic trays that are 100% recyclable. And you can just take these with you and just eat them wherever you are. Sort of like a hunter-gatherer kind of person. Um, another thing that I absolutely love is this. Because I'm really interested in gut health. There's a lot about gut health in the news, in magazines. There's loads of articles all over the internet about keeping your gut healthy. Now, people might think, what's all that about? I honestly thought it was airy fairy nonsense until I started to do my research and fermented food like this raw kimchi um, helps with making sure you have the right bacteria in your gut and that helps protect you and um, increase your immune system. It, it just helps you in so many ways. So I thought, let me try this. I haven't tried kimchi since I left a Korean company I used to work for LG years ago and their canteen had Korean food, including kimchi. But I didn't realise how good this stuff was until I started um, buying it in these jars. So here we go. Kimchi. I will put a link to do with gut health because there are some really good YouTubers that cover that. Um, Oh yeah, back onto things that are easy to eat, things you can have on the go. Pickled onions, okay, they might not be everyone's um, idea of fun food, but these are easy to eat. They're already prepared. All you do is open the jar. I'll have to get someone to help me with that actually. Um, and maybe my daughter will open this jar for me. And then I will be able to get some of these and eat these on the go with some 
boiled eggs or something like that i've also got this these are foods that are helping me out while i've got a dodgy wrist so um these pre-cooked pickled vegetables um i've got enough in there to do at least three to four servings so i can just add these to a dish that's got some protein so i can have them with some boiled eggs or some cheese um that's called melis that's the brand okay really good brand then again food on the go hen pecked eggs are fantastic i love the brand hen pecked so funny these are british eggs grown uh, well reared in cornwall in a place called trigoni not sure where that is um i'll try and find out a bit more and i'll probably put the link to this company because it's um i think this is the fourth box of eggs i've had from them and they are fantastic they're lovely and brown and they have a bright orange yolk and how am i going to prove that to you well I've got a bowl here. I'm going to try and crack the egg without making a mess. Without making too much of a mess. So I'm, I'm supporting the bowl and I'm going to try and crack it with my left hand. Oh my God, I've made a right mess of that. But there you go. Okay, you can see it's got a bright orange yolk in there. Okay, they seem to have eggs that or hens that produce these bright orange yolks. So that will be scrambled and made into an omelette. Now I've got a nice eggy hand, but there you go. It's all part of the unedited videos that I do. Right, here we go. Chestnut mushrooms. I love these and I love them so much. I've decided to buy two packets of them. So here we go. Packet number one, packet number two. Um, I use these fried. I put them in omelettes. Um, they are just fantastic. Just fry them with a bit of onion, stick a bit of garlic on and you, you're done right i've also got these lovely bananas free free, free trade fife's bananas now fife's is a very well-known brand um these are rainforest friendly apparently i mean i can't argue i don't know years and years ago britain had different agreements with banana growers around the world and they used to buy a lot from the caribbean um and then they started buying from places like uh, Colombia, the Congo, uh, all kinds of different places. And these ones are from Colombia, um, which are able to grow bananas at a much more competitive price than, say, the Caribbean, because it's a bigger country. They can grow them en masse. And thank goodness for these lovely bananas, because my daughter absolutely adores them so they're good they're also really tasty in a wrap if you've ever tried a peanut butter and banana wrap it's a very good on the go snack these are also on the go snacks coco delight i've never actually had these before i'm just taking a gamble with these i don't normally buy such heavily processed foods um but i thought i'd give it a go it says no added sugar um, they're 100% natural. I think they've got no palm oil. I'm not sure. Let me have a look. Have they got any palm oil? I can't see any on the ingredients. So I'm going to take it that they don't have any palm oil. Okay. So there you go. Natural, bee friendly, fantastic. And there's four bars in there. So I'm going to take one bar um, when I'm on the go, like I'm going out to work or I'm just walking about. Um, I've been signed off for a week because of my wrist. Um, my job involves a lot of lifting and pulling. So uh, having a dodgy uh, dominant hand is not really the best thing for that. Oh, another thing I've got, which I really like, is these cherry tomatoes. They're only a pound, um, which is very reasonable value. I, these are not grown in the UK, I'm afraid. It's a shame because I do prefer British ones. These ones come from Holland. Um, when the British ones come in, I'll just be buying British ones. But for now, I've, I'm happy with these because they're only a pound. They're nice and neat. You can just wash these and just pop them in a bag and just eat them as they are, which is perfect if you've got, um, you know, a damaged hand, uh, like a temporary disability or whatever. 
you can still use your other hand to eat these you don't have to worry about peeling them um, or cutting them small they're small enough to pop in a mouth <laughs> definitely get a load in mine and um, <laughs> uh, the other lovely thing I like about them is they come in these plastic tubs which are recyclable the string is recyclable and they have holes in the bottom so you can use them to grow your own tomatoes or other produce I'm really getting into this whole green way of life and um, I think it's really important that people are able to um, maintain their own uh, food chain rather than relying purely on supermarkets especially with what's going on in the world right now with uh, the war and everything we cannot afford to just be relying on one country uh, and be at the mercy of one supplier all the time because anyone can change their mind or change their ability to be able to provide us with certain foods um if the worst was to come to the worst i would obviously just have to go for basic foods that i can grow in my back garden and i would be grateful for that but for now i'm having a lot of semi-processed and processed foods one of the things i absolutely love is these falafels by um a brand called crush okay if you've ever heard of crush before if you look on the Getty website, they've got, I think, at least four different varieties of wraps. And this particular one is my favourite. It's the hummus um, uh, and falafel wrap. It's got carrot, um, herbs, seeds um, and hummus in it. It's really lovely. It's got a full list on the back of what it's got. And it's absolutely wholesome um i cannot see any palm oil in there i will check um more thoroughly but at the moment i can use this today it's got to be used by today okay right then i've got this paxo um stuffing and i you might think, oh, Paxo is just for stuffing chickens and things like that. Well, I'm using it to make these little balls. I'll probably have to get my daughter to do them or wait till my hand gets better. And then I'm going to make these and just bake them in my glass oven, in my little uh, halogen oven. And these are going to be nice little fillers to put in my lunchbox because then I can eat these cold. Um, after they're cooked, I can eat these cold. They've got onions and herbs and breadcrumbs okay so these are not gluten-free unfortunately but they are a nice tasty snack i'm sure you can make a gluten-free version in fact i'm going to be looking to make a similar kind of thing but with um quinoa so i'll be doing that on a separate um video so keep watching out for my videos because i will be doing these things right almonds everyone knows what almonds are these are just natural ones these are unroasted and unsalted and i've never heard of this brand before tadim now i think it might be a turkish brand because what you've got to remember is get it is a turkish company it's um owned um by a turkish um entrepreneur and so you will see some turkish product in um their range and these are really good to have on the go you can roast these if you want and put a bit of salt on them or a, some herbs or garlic powder or whatever you want to put on them or you can just have them plain have them plain straight out of the packet really good for protein um good natural healthy calories to have there now this is something fairly new to me from get here i don't think i've ever seen these ones before um when i've been shopping with get here uh ramus seafood uh cod fish cakes um i do eat fish i'm not an actual vegetarian as such because i do eat fish and i do eat eggs so obviously i eat products that have derived from animals um but i don't eat things like uh, gelatin um uh, or any other animals just fish okay and occasionally i will have a fish cake and i love these 
fish cakes. I, I'm not sure if these particular ones are like the ones I normally buy, but they look pretty similar. And my daughter wanted to try them because she loves fish cakes. And they're easy for her to do because she's a teenager who games a lot. So, um, yeah, we're going to get rid of those, put those to one side and make way for these lovely mangoes, which my daughter also chose. Um, I wouldn't say they're ready to eat. They're quite hard. I'm squeezing them and they haven't really got much give. So they will need to be left to one side to ripen up for at least, I'd say, three, four days before these are ready to eat. Um, that's the, the thing. When you're ordering foods that come from a different country you've got to be prepared to wait for them to ripen up but mangoes she loves mangoes i can live without mangoes but she can't now this is what you call proper processed food um these candy kittens were chosen by my daughter and this particular flavor is called eaten mess gourmet sweets gourmet sweets from london uh, and they are a vegan recipe. So this is great because this means it's got no palm oil. See, palm oil free. I wish more uh, food manufacturers would put that on there. Um, because I don't like the idea of destroying rainforests. Uh, and, and um, you know, destroying uh, the palms that animals are supposed to be living in. You know, in some parts of the world... You'll get things like orangutans, uh, monkeys and, and other creatures that depend on the palm tree being there, not being chopped down to make oil to put in food. OK, so there we go. These haven't got any palm oil in. They've got real strawberry juice and they have got uh, they're carbon neutral, apparently, because they're from London. So they're distributed in the UK. I believe candy kittens it says here gourmet sweets london now i don't know if they're made in london or where they're made i i, I don't know i haven't got time to look at that i shall let you know king's mill crumpets now you may have heard of the brand king's mill it's a, a very well-known british brand of bread they make bread crumpets wraps and a whole load of other bakery products and my daughter has chosen these so she can toast them and eat them in her room while she's gaming or doing whatever she's doing you get six in a pack they're very good value they weren't overly expensive um i won't be eating them though because i'm not into crumpets in fact i'm cutting down on bread and finally a get here shopping in my household is never complete unless it's got these Mr. Kipling Viennies worlds because my daughter absolutely loves them. So does my partner. He likes to steal her Viennies worlds and then there's a big argument between father and daughter. It, it gets a little bit crazy, but hopefully he won't steal them this time. Um, and they are the nation's favourite, apparently. There's been surveys done on, uh, you know, what British people like and these are up there in the top five or, or probably the number one favorite biscuit i would have thought tea biscuits were the favorite because i like tea biscuits but no these are the favorite i'm going to be putting some links down below um so that you can uh, check out a little bit more detail about some of these brands and some of the things i've been talking about like gut health and crafting with paper bags and reusing these lovely get here purple bags okay i've got i think two or three of them knocking around in my house and i am gonna keep them for old time's sake i'm sad like that anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you've learned something from my get here delivery and please like, subscribe and comment.